And hey, Wizards, guess what? Kieran Ashhammer back for another episode of the Dual School Fire and Storm Walkthrough here in Wizard 101. And we're here in Celestia, and we got to talk to the archivist again. Let's do it. I am the archivist, a construct to aid research in the Astral Archive. I am the archivist, a construct created to aid research in the Astral Archive. My empathic array detects that you are here searching for a means of entry into the Stellarium. Is that correct? Only Celestian citizens are permitted unrestricted access to the Stellarium. Temporary access to the Stellarium may be granted by allowing an empathic scan to determine suitability. Please present yourself to the preceptors of configuration, conflict, and contrivance for your evaluation. Once finished, return with the tokens denoting successful completion and place them in the security plinth. The preceptors have been activated and are ready for your use. Okay, so looks like we got to go ahead and get stan scanned. So let's go ahead and do this thing. This feels like something we just did, doesn't it? Hey, so happy to have everybody back. I am excited to be here for another episode, and we're going to continue to work our way through Celestia. Hopefully we can get into the Solarium and perhaps figure out this section. Yeah, hopefully everybody's doing really, really well. There we go, one conflict station. The preceptor lectures for a little while about identifying and resolving disagreements of all sort. When the lecture is complete, the preceptor produces a small metal token for you. Congratulations. As it well should be. I am congratulated. Fantastic. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and do a couple more. Now, by the way, guys, if you've been enjoying the series, don't forget. Give me a little bit of like and give me a subscribe to the channel. It really helps things out a lot. Thanks, everybody. We hit another milestone over 1,100 subscribers since the last episode. So thank you so much for helping us out with that. That is absolutely, absolutely awesome. There is an extremely long lecture about Celestian philosophy, astronomy, and magic theory. Ooh, and I do want to do a quick shout out to King Gerald for asking me what type of wand I was looking for. Still not sure what type of wand lecture, I'm going to look for, the though. The preceptor produces a small metal token for you. Shiny. Not bad, not bad. But so, guys, yeah. And like I said, if you um want to get a shout out, just go ahead and leave me a comment down there. And I'll definitely, you know, if I see your comment there, I'll, I'll give you a shout out and say thanks for it. I appreciate it. I hope everybody's doing well. So if you're new to the series, remember what we're trying to do is we're trying to play a total dual, dual school wizard. And we chose fire with a secondary school of storm. The preceptor speaks at length about the creation of devices with magical properties. When it is finished lecturing you, the preceptor produces a small metal token for you. Good job. And our whole goal is to um, create a wizard using, uh, well, basically just going through all the things. Now we're only using crafted gear. We're not getting waterworks gear. I mean, we'll run through the um, we'll run through the quests and everything. And we're also not doing any side quests either. So we're only doing main quests, and um, it's been pretty interesting so far. You fit the three course completion tokens into slots on the security plinth. There we go. Let's see if the archivist will let us in now. Congratulations. Your evaluation was a success, and you have been deemed worthy to enter the Stellarium. If you wish to continue, proceed to the pedestal immediately outside the doors of the Stellarium in the Grand Plaza. Okay, let's go outside those doors and head into the Grand Plaza. Woohoo! Okay, guys, so definitely, definitely moving through. I forget how quickly just doing main quests can get you through. And just so you know, we're sitting still at level 46. We're not even at level 50 yet. Kind of exciting stuff, I think. Okay. One Stellarium pedestal. The pedestal appears to be missing a small section of metal. A key of some kind. Perhaps Thornton Lewis knows about it. Of course. Couldn't be ready to go, right? Okay. Let's go ahead and talk to our buddy Thornton Lewis. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do
should mention something being missing. The other day, I saw the Piscean leader, a big <coughs> fellow named Brutus Starkwave, fiddling with that pedestal. I wager he knows something about your missing key. I'll wager he does too. Okay, well, let's go ahead and find him. Apparently, he's over this way. <coughs> oh, excuse me, guys. Sorry, a little bit of sneezing going on. Oh, okay. Let's head over here. Dark Waves Lair. Well, let's go in here and let's have a personal one-on-one -on -one conversation with Mr. Starkwave and see if we can get him to, um, well, hand over what we need, right? That's absolutely right. That's what we're shooting for. This is no place for a surface dweller. Come on, boys. Fresh meat. Ooh, okay. Let's take a look at our deck and make sure we are prepared for such things. Yep, I think about as prepared as possible. Let's just go ahead and throw a big storm hit in there, too, as well. Just in case it's useful. Okay. Charge! Bruce Starkwave. Well, let's see here. By taking a look at these guys, I suspect that there's probably going to be a little bit of, um... What should we call it? I bet you I'm going to get hit with a weakness. They're both they're both balanced. Could be a tough fight. Could be a tough fight. Yeah, I mean, being here at level 46, you know, basically one level, can they these can be some challenging um challenging fights here, guys. Not so bad. Now, with any luck, we'll be able to get into the Stellarium, which is a, um, which is a dungeon. So it should be interesting. We need to get rid of his minion. Oh. Wow, that's brutal. Oh, that's terrible. Okay, we could die here pretty quick. Now, if our dragon would like step up to the plate and give us a little bit of a hand here, um, I'd be feeling a little bit better about the situation. Ah, if we had first hit, too, we'd be in better shape. Okay, here's hoping he doesn't swing. Ow. Oh. Aye. No good. We're dead. Okay, so... <laughs> Let's try this again. Okay, let's let's um let's go Let's go give this another shot. Oh, I forgot before we run off. Ooh, I don't want to lose my lose that I, I I can't believe that that was brutal. That was uncalled for. That was ridiculous Okay, let's try this again. Okay. Um, decisions, decisions, decisions. Okay. Let's do this. Ow! <sighs> okay. Now, if our pet would use some Maycast healing, um, it would definitely put us in a much, um, much better arrangement here. Okay. Thank goodness for the critical. Okay. With any luck, that will finish off him and give us a chance to heal up before they do a crippling strike. Okay, here we go. No. Jeez. 
That is what I was hoping for last time. There we go. That's a May cast I can get behind. Okay, very good. So yeah, we're we're in a much better position to do some damage right now. So the thing is, do we heal or do we not? Um, you know, I'm going to say let's go ahead and heal up because the minions, the minions toast. We just have to. Oh wow, very nice. The minions toast. So we just have to take on the big guy now. Excellent. Okay. We can take a couple of hits from him right now and um, take him down. Now, a few things he's probably most likely to do. He's most likely going to cast. Yeah, let's do this one instead. Okay, we need a couple blades now. Are you kidding me? Is he doubling up on those shields? Now that's just like depressing to think about. Okay. He knows what's coming. Overwhelming force. Well, I think we'll just pass. I need more pips. Ah. <sighs> Those shields are annoying me. Okay. We'll pass again. I want more pips. Do we have enough pips now? I think we do. Let's give it a shot. Because it looks like I'm going to have to heal myself. Woo! Wow, he hit hard, didn't he? Oh yeah, yeah. Tell you what, Hellhound is pretty, pretty darn awesome. Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and sit back and do some counter heal. Nice. The Piscean leader drops a piece of curiously shaped metal. It must be the missing key. <laughs> he wasn't very, very thrilled with that, was he? Okay, well, one Piscean leader down. Let's go show it to Thornton Lewis and see what he thinks about our di ooh, discovery. Let's go grab some of those wisps. Look at all that health. Very nice. Okay, we had to go up this way anyways. Zippity doo, zippity da, zippity dee. Okay. There he is, Mr. Lewis. Let's go. I think you finally got it. This is it. Now you can journey into the Stellarium and recover the Star of Celestia, the heart of the Stellarium. That artifact is crucial to understanding Celestia's star magic. Recover it and take it to the Grand Astrolabe in the Celestia base camp. There we go, guys. So let's go ahead. Grand Astrolabe. Well, we have to go into the Stellarium first. I don't remember if the Stellarium's hard or not. I think we'll find out now. 
So let's head on into it. Now some of these dungeons are pretty tough, so hopefully we'll be able to have everything that we need to take them down. Hopefully we'll go up a few levels here pretty quick. I think the Solarium's pretty cool. You'll see here. Uh, Star School Trainer. Wouldn't it be great, like, if we could actually train some of these? I remember when Vengeance was a pretty one, pretty good one to have if you didn't critical. Empowerment is, is not a bad one to have. Gain one pip for every incoming force spell hit on you. Uh, you know, but other than that, yeah. Well, well, well. Let's see here. What do we got here? Oh, I love the uh, musical sheets that are hanging. But anyways... First off, we got to go to Unamatus. We have to go talk to this Unamatus guy. Do not proceed. Your defeat is inevitable. Spare yourself the humiliation. Not so good. Okay. This might be a tough dungeon. We'll see. We'll get through it. Okay, we gotta take these guys down. I don't think they earthquake, so here's crossing my fingers, right? Ooh, and a botus. Man, but we're getting hit pretty hard here. This is a big spell. Oh no, that was uncalled for. Absolutely, oh assuredly, uncalled for. Oh, I might not be able to beat this guy. This, this is going to be a tougher fight than I thought. Especially if they're going to pull weaknesses and stuff out of the air. Okay, here's hoping they don't hit. Because I got a strike. Okay, you don't need to hit me either. Just go and pause. There we go. We like that. We like that. Okay. We got to go for it. We got to go for it. Might may not kill the guy I need to. If we crit, maybe. Maybe we'll get a big enough hit. Come on. Can I get a critical here? Yes. Got a critical. The weakness isn't helping, though. Oh, he resisted. Fizzle. That guy really needs fizzle. Not what I needed him to do. Oh, I'd love to hit him with Minotaur, but that's not going to finish him off. If I don't heal, I'm dead, so. Hopefully we get a crit. We need the crit heal. We're just striking. Because we have to get rid of the other guy. If we don't get rid of the other guy, we don't live. Okay, we're still in it, guys. Oh, healing was the right choice there. Ho oh, ho, pet coming through. Are you kidding me? Sheesh. It had one job. Okay. Okay. 
We need to hit him hard and large. Haha, -ha, you robot overlord. Well, shield didn't help as much as I'd hoped it would. But my pet is coming through. Let's Stormzilla him. It's a beautiful thing, guys, when a plan comes together. Not enough to finish him off, but I think we can do that. Mm hmm. Okay, we just need enough pips to do it. I'll tell you what, my pet is really standing up. In a dungeon like this, we've got multiple bosses. It's going to help out a lot if he's going to be supporting us strong like this. Wow. La 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 la. I just don't know if it's enough yet. One, two, three, four. Nope, nope. I think we'll pass. Okay, let's do it. I think it'll be enough. And do we get the hit? Yes, we do. Might take a round for it to finish him off, though. Nice! I'm glad he saved the um, time. And this will round out my health. Very good. You have defeated me, but your weak mind cannot solve the problem that will let you pass. Very good. Well, that's going to happen. Look, we got the Boots of Celestian Totality. Hmm. Let's go. We guarded the gateway well with a grid of flux panels. They must be linked to bring power to the gateway and pass beyond. Though you can manipulate the pedestals and orient the flux panels anew, you are simply incapable of an arrangement that links them continuously. Such cleverness is beyond your human function. Do not waste your time attempting this challenge. Accept your limits with dignity. It's one of the things I do like about Celestia is in a lot of the dungeons you get these um you get these you get these puzzles and I love it. I think it's great. I think there should be more puzzles in the game. I think I think it makes the game more enjoyable. Gives you a little bit of variety, you know? So Yep, just my thoughts on it. I like it. I like. I like ye. Okay, so we have to go over here. And we have to arrange the puzzle so that we can, like, take down the shield thingy. Do, 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 do,
So now we got that power going over here. Let's do this one to get the power. Heading over this way. Let's get this one. Let's get the power heading over this way. One more. And I think that's it. Yeah, I don't think it really shows anything else. Sometimes they have a neat reflection that you can see as well. Oh, we have to use the energy shot. My bad, my bad. I just, I just turned it on. Didn't really use it. Okay. Now we get to go talk to the big guy. Whoever he is. Selwyn. Selwyn. Ah... Do you think he'll be reasonable? I think he'll just say, oh, hey, whatever you need, just grab it. I suspect probably not. Well, we're about to find out. Though my home was beyond the stars, I have dwelt in this place for time out of mind, serving and waiting. I will not surrender the secrets of Celestia's magic willingly. Okay, well, he's like our first boss of bosses, so... Uh, should we say he's our first Celestian ghost boss? Yeah. It's pretty cool stuff. There are some neat... Some of the bosses in Celestia are some of the coolest thought-up bosses. I wouldn't necessarily put him in that rank, but, like, later on... Yeah, they're pretty cool. They're pretty cool. Okay. So we got first strike. That is definitely an advantage for us. So um, if our pet can support, give us good support here, then I think we um, stand a better than average chance of, of succeeding here. Oh, that he has a lot of pips. Ooh. Oh! That hurt. Hey, I'll take the shield. Definitely take the shield. I think we can definitely do enough damage to get rid of this guy with two blades. Very good, very good. Ooh, that's going to be close on him. Okay. Um, I say let's go ahead. <sighs> let's put this up. We're probably going to have to heal next round. I think it's too early to heal right now. Ooh. I don't like that that's only doing like 174 after a crit. I don't like that at all. Uh, if he strikes me, that's going to put a dent in my... Okay. Oh, are you kidding me? Well, he'll still be finished, so I'm not going to I'm not gonna worry too much about that. Okay, we're just going to go ahead and load up the blades. Okay. Yeah. I don't like the fact he's resisting so much of the fire. Check it out. Pet is like s totally in support mode in this dungeon. That is awesome because doing this without my pet in support mode can make this, can make, uh, it makes it hard. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I say... We're going to finish loading up for as big of a hit as we can get. Well, I think we need every boost we can get right now, so... This guy's got a lot of health.
Oh, he's pre he knows he's going to get hit. Oh, yeah, he knows. I want more pips. I want more pips. I want more pips. He's going to hit me now. It's going to hurt a little more because of the bu bubble. Oh. Brutal. Okay. Let's see how much damage we can do with this puppy. Here's to not fizzing. Thank goodness. Oh, that's no good. Did you see all that all that I all that I put in there and it only did like 339 points of damage? Oh dear. We are in for it, guys. We have got to um Oh, this is not good. Not good at all. Only four hundred. Oh, he must has he must have mass resist. I mean that hellhound. I mean, did you see how many pips we put on him? Oh, uh, we're we're in a bad position here, boys. Oh yeah, this is not good. He has some mad resist. That should have done way more. I mean, that should have hit him way higher than that. Oh, this is bad. Okay. What do I have? Ugh. Well, we'll throw it up. Guess I got shields in my um in my deck. Okay, and he has a couple shields up, too. We're going to have to, like... Uh, okay. Oh, it's going to be a hard fight. Oh, if he didn't have those shields up, we could be hitting him a lot harder. Dang him! Oh, this guy's terrible. Okay, um, here's what we're going to do. We're going to do this for a couple of rounds, and we. Uh... Yeah, like ay ay ay. Let's heal, because we're about to get hit again. And besides, when we do the reshuffle, we'll get the we'll get those two heals back. Ugh. Can he stop criticaling for a minute? Are you kidding me? Urgh. Yeah, it was a bad call for me to um to throw up the fire. Could be worse, he could be healing himself, right? Let's switch this back to life.
Are you... Uh, what the heck? If we don't heal, we're going to be in bad shape. That sucked. I really could use a critical there. Okay. Well. Too much resist. Zero sum game there. Maybe if we crit a Heckhound, we can do enough damage to do something. Maybe he'll crit. We gotta take a chance. Oh, my pips are in bad sh- Oh, man, this fight could not go any worse, could it? No crit? Oh, come on! That's going to do nothing to him. Yeah, 90. Oh, I, uh, I hate this fight. I, I literally, literally hate this fight. We cannot wait to get out of this fight. Don't know how. I think he's going to end up winning just because I'm going to run out of spells. I'm not going to be able to do anything. Uh, see, I really need this to be a huge hit, but it's not. Uh. <laughs> well, guys, this sucks. Would have done better just to load up a whole bunch of um, storm spells for this fight, honestly. It's not enough. I don't have enough pips to do it. I don't have enough pips to finish him off. Wow. I've got to do this because there's no chance. If my pet doesn't heal me, I'm done. I've got five mana left. Wow. It's not going to do it, but he has too much resist. Maybe it, maybe if I critical and everything lines up with the stars, maybe? I mean, that's the first... Yeah, 217. That's critical on that. It's too much. 
We're dead. I don't remember Moon Schools being resistant to fire, but then again, I I have I haven't really fought a lot of celestial schools with just my, with just with just an elemental fire wizard. So that's my fault for not being prepared for going into this fight fully vetted. We're fleeing. Yeah, there's there's no win there. Okay, guys, let's go get back in there. Let's load up. Why not? Let's go. Let's not get in a fight that we don't want. Now, I don't know if we're going to have to defeat his minion again. Sometimes they load him up and sometimes they don't. These fights are sometimes a little inconsistent with that. Whether, whether they had the minions. I know last time... We had to go in and fight the minion again. But I don't know. We'll find out. Uh, charge! No, we just got Selwyn. Okay. You're mine. <laughs> well, he came out swinging, didn't he? Let's set this place up right. This is my house! <laughs> yeah, you best be quaking. You be you best be doing some quaking. Okay. Now let's end with Stormwing. Then we got four rounds to make another hit. There you go. That's a pretty birdie. Who's a pretty birdie? You're a pretty birdie. Yeah, she's a pretty birdie. Okay, that's round one. Still got three rounds left to do some hurt uh what's better this yeah this is better let's get a blade up ah too bad we can't get rid of that shield Yeah, well, we, oh, we knew he was going to come back. Yeah. Without me boosting that, it doesn't hurt as much. Okay. Um, yeah, let's just hit him. We're already doing better in two, in two rounds than we did the entire last fight. Those shields. Gotta go. Oh, man. Oh, Fine. Let's get rid of these guys. We need a heal. Oh, if he kills me, I'll be... Okay. I was thinking my health. Oh, my health! Not good. That's good. Good sign right there. Okay. Ooh. 
Well, let's get another blight out there and let's hit, make this as big of a hit as we can. There we go, okay. Monster hit. Thank goodness we healed. Oh no. Are you kidding me? Are you f kidding me? Thank goodness. That was um, sickly ridiculous. Are you serious? This game. So frustrating sometimes. Come on. Cast the freaking spell. There we go. Not enough by far. He'd be dead if it wasn't for that shield. Uh, we're still in the game. Oh, I should have just, um... Dang it. Okay, it's fine. We'll do it this way. Are you kidding me? Still did 1,068 on that? Just imagine if we didn't have the... Fizz. There we go. Yeah, he knows what's coming. Goodbye, Selwyn. You battled bravely and with honor. The light of the stars clearly led you to this place through the sea of night. I release unto you the Star of Celestia. Use it in pursuit of knowledge and learning. You may proceed. Wow, that was a fight. Well, good. Now we can... You remove the Star of Celestia from the Stellarium. It glimmers with astral power. Very good. Well, guys, with that, we're going to leave it till the next episode. Thanks for hanging out with me while we finished off the Stellarium. Next episode, we're going to start to put the Astrolabe back together, and then we're going to talk to um, the boss and keep this thing going. If you guys have a great day. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button if you like. Leave me a comment. This is Kieran Ashhammer 4. The Wizard 101 Dual School Walkthrough Fire and Storm. Have a great evening. Bye-bye.